there's fundamental good and fundamental bad about diet and food choice and lifestyle practices. And knowing the difference between the two, we should all actively oppose any entities that are trying to talk us into the bad to basically mortgage our health for the sake of their profits. And certainly we should all oppose any entity that's trying to talk us into doing that to our children. Please mortgage the future health of your children to fatten my corporate coffers. We should all be outraged anytime we encounter that. So we need, we need to awaken the sleeping giant. And the sleeping giant is us in our righteous multitudes. So what do the fundamental goods look like? Can you talk about that? They, they look like stuff that actually grows in nature. They look like stuff that comes from a plant rather than a factory type plant. They look like stuff that our great grandparents would also have recognized as food. So they look like vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, water when you're thirsty. And sure, they can look like meat and dairy and eggs and fish and seafood too, albeit in smaller quantities, but real food. They don't look like something that comes in a box with an ingredient list that runs off the package. They don't look like uh, food that, if you turned out the light, you suspect might very well glow in the dark. Uh, you know, they don't look like something where the order of the ingredients is not even consistent with the kind of food it's supposed to be. So, for example, kids' cereal, the very word cereal means it's a grain. That's what cereal means. It's a cereal grain. And yet very often the first ingredient, which means the single most abundant ingredient, is some kind of sugar. Well, then that's not cereal with sugar. That's sugar that's with cereal. Sugar, <laughs> sugar with, you know, right. essence of grain added to right. it, right? So call it sugar with et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's a misnomer. It's an utter deception. It's outrageous. So it doesn't look like that. So, you know, again, the, I, I, that, that's part of the, the, the power of this is the fundamental simplicity of the right remedy. Michael Pollan expressed it in those famous seven words, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. Uh, many others have expressed it in related terms. I think I got it down to five with wholesome foods and sensible combinations. But, you know, basically, if you develop the argument, it's make your diet up mostly of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, plain water for thirst. Focus on 